different kinds of fighters. Glenn Donaire, a face first brawler. And Donito, more of a, a tactical technician. And Donito Donaire has some physical attributes too that his brother doesn't have. He's taller, he's got the reach, uh, and he's a little bit bigger. And so all of that is troubling Vic Darchinian right now. Darchinian came in thinking that Donito uh, was more of a threat, that he was better than, than Glenn, taking nothing away mm -hmm. from, from Glenn's skills. Round five underway, scheduled for 12. IBF flyweight belt on the line. The champion Darchinian in the black. Struggling a little bit with the challenger in the red, Nonito Donaire. Nice shot to the you know, body there by Donaire. Exactly, Stephen. The body work Donaire's done over the first four and a half rounds could pay dividends later in the fight. Donaire thinks he'll own the later rounds. Uh, in, in his last 12-round fight, uh, Donaire against Oscar Andrade won the last three rounds dramatically to win that decision. He feels he's going to be the stronger fighter in the later rounds. And our panel of press row scores have it as a, yes, a majority draw after four rounds. I have a 39-37 as Sherman Kane does. Sherman Kane from the Manchester Journal Inquirer here in Connecticut. Martin Abrams, 15rounds.com. Jack Obermeyer from Boxing Digest. Coming up at the midway point of round five. There's the jab by Nonito Donaire at working well. Oh, my. had started to land the counter left hand and here it would come in dramatic fashion again lunging in Darchinian as he has not concerned about defense you have to admire the courage of Darchinian and the will as hurt as he was trying desperately to get up and continue and clearly we know he was hurt and uh, you see there just not doing well and from above we get a chance to see how well that left hook landed. It was just a perfect counter left hook by Nonito Donaire. And, you know, we talked about how the left hook had been successful early in the fight and really was the surprise weapon tonight. We would have expected the right hand to be more of a weapon for Donaire. And it factors against Darcini because of his uh, size and punching accuracy. He's here for Donaire. Good right hand by Donaire. Oh, that one really caught him. And Maldonado disoriented. He's a Donaire said to us. Oh. Left that scored by Maldonado. Maldonado's having a really good. Yeah, Donaire is, is just surgically picking there to do. Oh, straight right hand. Right. Yeah, he's won just about every round, and he has rocked Maldonado. Oh, There's effort. another big shot by Donaire, and the sweeping Ooh. left puts Maldonado Ooh. down. The things that might give him a little. Oh, nice right by Donaire. A little. He wants to end it. Here's a barrage by Donaire. The referee ended in dramatic fashion. Oh, belting him to the body with the left, and that is right hand stings Vargas in the arsenal. Jab. He went down to 105 for it. Oh, that's a bad move according to CompuBox. <laughs> Look at that. And I gave Vargas that round. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. No getting up and lefty Richie McFrana. Oh, a beautiful right hand by Donaire. By a nice dip right jab. Well, he's Ooh. a beautiful uppercut with the, from an international news agency. Two of the judges actually had Ooh, a nice left hook by Donaire. Marquez in trouble trying to hold on. And Donaire. Left hook, right hand. Oh! And it's over! That! About moving up and playing. Oh, he's in. Wobbled to the record already. But it's to the tip point. It's to the top of the head. Well, let's see now. This is around. Judges should score 10 8. But it may be a move. And he's hurt again. He got hurt again. Big right hand. Right hand. Good. Oh, and now he is. A right followed by a left. Anselmo Moreno. Oh, good. I think that's enough. That is enough. That's 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 en
Good luck, Tanner. Six more years has developed the left right combination. Good luck. Oh, there you go. Out of there. It's over with. It's over with. That is done. And Russell Moore is going to let it continue. Now he stops it. You have company. Jumped in with a left hand too. Donaire comes right back. Doubles up the two. Really good tackle. Right in front of him. Age of multiple titles. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. But after all this, if Narvaez lands one or two clean shots, I'd rather be him. Yeah, but good right hand for the Vinod. Narvaez is not throwing back. Right hand. Perfect right. power. That's exactly right. Of course, the crowd wants to see more because they came out to see more. the athletic level of you or Donaire. Oh, there Donaire. Well, and he should stay in his weight class and not take the money. Oh, Donaire. Fired a punch in my face. Counter punches, particular of Donaire whenever he does. Dropping his hands. And left. he rips Vasquez with a left hook lead. And there was a perfect example. Comes up over the three. Well, Larry. There's found the left Good shot. Uh, what a couple of punches. Tremendous uppercut. And the left hook to put it. This is a tough fight for Donaire Shields. The opponent, and to a certain degree, found one tonight. He's been hit. Still in professional career. And nine years old. And for everyone who's been so excited about the prospect of what Donaire can do, did his inability to knock out Vasquez raise questions. Marapula is now back and straight up, which is not good. Well, he's, he's doing Vada. Marapula's just. Marapula's throwing a pretty good punch himself, though. Trade inside. He's not afraid to trade with uh, Melito. And who did more damage? I, I mean, I got a round two and he threw over 100 punches. But, you know, he's been... that round. Yeah. I'll give that round to Donaire is going to make in commentary. Yeah. So I'll take yourself an unnecessary risk. Go! Left hand drops by the Bula. Well, up a cut from Donaire. Fires off a right and a left. Which means he's willing to sacrifice your fighter as a pressure fighter. Oh, good left hand by Donaire. Left hand by Matabula cuts the face of Donaire. This, you know, this is what he asked for. So Donaire says, bring it on. Fires a couple power shots. That's how it ends. Yoka's used to winning. Yeah, but he's waiting to get a good shot in. Make him make a mistake where I can counter it. Okay. There's the hand speed. It's cold outside. Oh, oh no. Yeah, from Mishioka down. Straight shot inside. Oh, from Donaire. Right hand over the top. Straight right hand. Nishioka says, bring it on. Left hand from Donaire. And this is what Nishioka starts to do around the Oh, oh down goes Nishioka from a counter shot. Four, five, six. And into this body, he's been down three times in his career. Down twice. And now the referee steps in and stops it. He's old, so... He's landing on Daenerys' gloves. There's an uppercut for Daenerys. Good left hand. With which most people credit Daenerys' counterpunching skill. And there you saw the left hook upstairs. And there goes Arce to the canvas on a quick, short, straight right hand. Four, five, yeah. six. Come back, Pat. Come on. Well, our fans seem to want a fifth fight. And here's Daenerys looking for the knockout. And Arce's down again. Second knockdown of the fight for Nomito Donaire, and Jorge Arce is rubbing a glove against his left eye. Good right hand by Donaire, and another left uppercut. Oh. And down goes Arce on a brilliant left hook, and that just might be that, and it is. Referee Lawrence Cole waves his arm. Nonito. He has good extension on all of his punches. Oh, there it is. That hook got hurt him right there. There it is. There it is. Right there. Martinian's trying to fight right back. Last where he's been undressed. Oh, this shot Jorge, is the hardest dude to fight because of the style. Straight right hand. Followed by the left hook again. Oh, good uppercut by the old lady. Down is. goes Sarginia. Straight right hand again. Here comes the left hook. Straight right hand, left hook. Romero's going to set up another left hook. Oh, it's a thunderous right cross. And the left hook. And an uppercut. And Lawrence 
Stone's going to stop the fight. Know if it's going to be a jab or if it's going to be a difficulty that could come from an accident. You can see that Yaka sees he can punch. Right there, Max. You see yeah. him set the move back. Yeah. Yeah. We go to the judges' scorecards. And there's a good left hook for Donaire. Donaire has suddenly seized the initiative in the fight. Last Here. time, and maybe he wasn't ready for Rigando, but speed and power, but also a guy solid that... stuff. And down goes Vetyeka on a Donaire left hook. The money punch. But now, Donaire has set himself up for a two-point round in the fourth. Oh. And Donaire... Well, you know what the thing about Donaire... It, it, it went, oh, good oh. shot. Donaire... Pace this a little bit. He's fought a lot of rounds in his career, and perhaps he's trying... Ryder in Juarez. Well, no, Juarez is... Oh, big oh, left hand! Oh, And no need to Donaire... I think that's what he needs to do to get in this fight. Oh, oh. big right hand from Donaire! Oh, the first knockdown from Donito Donaire. You saw the Juarez tangle there. Yeah, you, you saw Juarez. He threw a jab from way too close. Donito rolled it, threw a right hand over the top. Stepped in with a left hook. He just missed that left hook. That probably would have finished him. Juarez went down Again. three times in the first round against Jorge Lara in July of 2012. Oh. He's in trouble here and in danger of going down a second time in round four. Donaire trying to finish him off. And there's the fiddle Pino flash, that big left hook that he was famous for. This Juarez kid is tough. He took some big punches right there. Juarez snuck a body shot in, and there's a massive left hand. Here's the second knockdown, much cleaner. Donito stepping around through that left hook. Juarez had his hand it all on the line right now. Watch Donito. Oh. Juarez in trouble again. Still standing. Donito's no for From the Philippines. The Filipino flash. Donito. Left hand was a nice shot, partially blocked by the glove. Good right hand to the body from Burnett. Left hook in response from Donaire. And a chopping right hand on the inside from the film alongside him. Coach of the Irish Olympic setup where Ryan Burnett had such success. Beautiful right hand went next to the turnbuckle in a neutral corner from Ryan Burnett. Lead left hook was blocked by the right glove of Donaire. And now Donaire looking to pin his man to the corner, unloading heavy artillery. But Ryan Burnett remaining alert, bobbing and weaving effectively, blocking shots with his gloves and comes back to the left. Fantastic shot. Terrific combination from Burnett, ending with that left up. The reigning WBA super. It looks like it's a flicking jab, it's actually a real solid shot. Good right hand from Donaire and then another one. Ryan Burnett taking punches in the corner, trying to bob and weave. But Benito Donaire finding his range with that vaunted backhand. Ryan Burnett showing Machismo, nodding in the direction of his man as if to say those shots didn't hurt, but the reddening on his face, well I'm not suggesting that they did hurt, but they were certainly scoring shots. Exchange of test, Denaire has so many layers as he takes a good right hand from Ryan Burnett. Peter Denaire is. We'll see, you have to see, oh it's lovely there, nice little right. shot all the time. Everybody referred to Sugar Ray Robinson's left hook as he comes to work with a left uppercut and left hook. Then getting to work again with the left hand underneath is Nonito Denaire. Ryan Burnett pivoting with his back foot in the canvas and had to take a knee. Dramatic development here in the closing stages of the fourth round. Oh my goodness, Denaire now putting off on what is effectively a sitting target. Burnett can't get out of the way of the punches. And the terrific movement from the waist, but well, he's not able to employ it at this juncture. He appears to have suffered a back injury. Did a great job, but here it is right here. Double jab, followed up, blinds Boom. him, hits him with the left hand. To add in a left hook that connected. He's also trying to set up an uppercut, that being Nonito Donier. Yeah, he, he's just walking. You can see him walking forward, boom, throwing that uppercut, coming right between the gloves. He knows that Stefan Young is one, has the earmuffs on, and leaning forward, which sets him up perfectly for that left uppercut right there. And he landed right on the button, didn't Onito Donier. And there's Stefan Young answering back, though, but 
Donier threw that right hand over the top. Yeah, and he counters him, and, that, and that's exactly what champions do. He tried to catch it and shoot, but he wasn't able to catch it, but the shoot worked because he came right over. That's why Stefan Young has to be careful of that uppercut when he puts the earmuffs on, because you can't see that shot coming. And there are not many guys who have physical attributes, and a guy that had earmuff defense was that, and you mentioned him earlier, Winky Wright. Winky Wright there are yeah. not many guys that have those long of arms and biceps to be able to evade. And there's a way oh. Down goes Young on a third. In this division, as you can see right here, he comes back with the level. Bam! Boom! Hit him Good right night. on the chin. And that Good was it. night. See ya. I tell you what, he probably, he could have he could have knocked out a racehorse with that left hook. Look, and Stefan Young left his chin in the air, waited too long, boom! Sure did. Night-night! And the fundamentals, he did not have his right hand up. A lot of that has to do with fatigue. But you can see right here, Nonino Daenerys sees the open shot, boom! He was unconscious going to the canvas. He was. He was, he was, was unconscious before his back smacked and then bang! You never want to see it. And that is the vaunted power that we're talking about. Nonito Daenerys at this weight class, 118 pounds. Everybody better watch out. Good night, Stefan Young. Nonito Daenerys decapitating Young.